good morning to everybody today we are going to discuss about composition of blood and its function blood is the specialized connective tissue in which there is a liquid intracellular substance called plasma and formed elements are present formed elements are erythrocyte called red blood cells leukocytes called white blood cells and platelets formed elements are suspended in the plasma properties of blood arterial blood is red in color venous blood is purple red in color the total volume of blood is around 5 to 6 liters viscosity of blood is 4 to 5 times that of water specific gravity is 1.050 to 1.061 the ph of the blood is 7.4 composition of the blood blood is a highly complex fluid it composed of two parts a liquid part it's called plasma in plasma different types of cells are suspended the cells are called blood corpuscles plasma formed about 55% cells formed about 45% the plasma nearly occupied 92 to 91 to 92% and then remaining 8 to 9% are water and solids in plasma the inorganic substances are sodium potassium calcium magnesium phosphorus iron and copper are present the organic substances are protein example serum albumin serum globulin fibrinogen and prothrombin the non protein nitrogenous substance or urea uric acid and creatinine the carbohydrate substance which is present in the plasma is glucose the fat or occupied in the plasma example phospholipids and cholesterol other substance like internal secretions antibodies and enzymes are present in the plasma the coloring of the plasma is yellow in color it's due to small amount of presence of bilirubin carotene and xanthophyll so this is a flow chart of the blood composition of blood so blood composed of liquid substance called plasma and elements called formed elements the plasma which contain amino acids nutrients protein gases electrolytes and nitrogenous waste formed elements are three elements which are occupied in the cells platelets leukocytes erythrocytes leukocytes are two types one is granulocytes another one is a granulocytes granulocytes are neutrophil eosinophil basophil a granulocytes are lymphocytes and monocytes so this flow chart will show the functions of the different types of cells here that red blood cells are called erythrocytes the total volume of rbc is 4.8 million per microliter in female 4.5 million microliter in females the size of the rbc is 7 to 8 micrometer in diameter they are biconcave in shape so they are involved in the carrier of oxygen and the carbon dioxide in the blood white blood cell blood cells are called leukocytes the total amount of leukocytes are 5000 to 10000 microliter so the life span of this wbc is few days so they are involved in eradication or removal of foreign substances which are enter in the body granulocytes example neutrophils neutrophils present 60 to 70% of wbc the size of neutrophils are 10 to 12 micrometer in diameter so they are involved in phagocytosis process eosinophil it present 2 to 4% of all wbc the size will be 10 to 12 micro diameter micrometer diameter so they also eliminate that parasite 
parasites such as worms and then they are involved in phagocytosis process. Basophils. The size of the basophil is 0 0.8 to 10 micrometer in diameter. The total volume of basophil is 0.5 to 1 percent. So they are released during in the allergic conditions. A granulocytes. A granulocytes means absence of small granules in this st structure. So example lymphocytes, they are T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. These T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes which are occupied in nearly 20 to 25 percent of all WBC. So they are involved in mediator of immune response and including that antigen antibody reactions. Monocytes. It occupied 3 to 8 percent of all WBC. The size of the monocytes is 12 to 20 micrometer in diameter. Its, its nucleus is kidney shaped and then it will be act on the hypothalamus and maintain the temperature in the body. Platelets. Another name for platelets is thrombocytes. The total volume of thrombocytes are 150,000 to 4 lakhs. So its size will be 2 to 3 micrometer in diameter. So they are involved in the homostasis. Functions of blood. So blood carries oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and it carries carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs. It transports food materials absorbed from intestine to the tissues for utilization. It also carries stored nutrients from storage areas to the tissues. It acts as a carrier of some hormones, vitamins and other essential chemicals to their site of actions. It carries waste products of cellular activity and brings them to the organ of excretion through kidney, lungs and intestine. And finally, it will be regulated blood pressure. Thank you.